This is the Cinespore. It is fully loaded with actually no ND filter because it's late enough in the day. It's the only place I could find on a Thursday afternoon that isn't infested with people. Sorry that it's so ugly here. And uh, it's got that big TPU mount on it. It's it's uh, 545 grams olive weight. It has the stand FPV ducts on it. These are the standard ducts. It does not have the 25 millimeter standoffs because I was just too lazy building this thing. This does have the 30 amp all-in-one by the JHEMCU board in there. And this is like my oldest prototype that's been hammered. My PIDs and my filter settings and my dynamic rates and everything is on screen. I have a video about dynamic rates. I have a video about the frame itself. This video is really intended to show you what it can and cannot do. Real world flight performance because we're not trying to misrepresent anything at all. But look for a couple of things. Uh, prop wash. That's the flight code. That's not what I meant. I meant uh, wash out. Look for wash out. Look for weird bobbles and wiggles in the video feed and look for or listen for the noise also this video is 100 raw i haven't even added any colors or anything to the gopro it's a gopro hero 8 it's 546 grams all of weight on this quad and i'm gonna plug it in right now and listen for those things all right so as i said let's let this plane fly by first real quick So there are a couple of very real limitations with whoops. Right now you're seeing one of them. It is, it's it's windy right now. It's not breezy or sorry, it's a consistent breeze right now. So the quad is flying slanted a little bit. And so you're going to get that with this with really any Cinewhoop because it's got huge ducts on it. So you're just limited by that kind of breezy. When it's really gusty, you're gonna have some issues because of the ducts, it just catches wind. But I'll do some acro stuff for you right now, show you what it can do, which is really not designed to do that. I actually found a bird's nest up there. I'm sorry if people are really angry at me for looking at bird's nests, but I really am interested to see them. Anyways, so it's not really designed to do these kinds of crazy acro moves, but as you can see, it's doing really well. And so EmuFly is doing a great job of handling the prop wash and doing all the stuff that makes it fly well. Uh, my dynamic rates are super duper ultra squishy. If you tried my dynamic rates, you would think you've gone back to PPM and uh, it's like, it feels delayed, but it actually makes it really nice and soft to fly. And it makes the video look like you're flying real steady go post-processed footage, but it's not post-processed. It's a actual quad flying. So prop wash, or uh, sorry, washout. Let's, let's show washout. Let's see if I can even get it to wash out. So you can hear it. You can definitely hear the washout and you probably see a little bit of yaw wiggle in the flight video. It's honestly performing shockingly well. I, I swear I remember more washout in this thing than what you're seeing in this video. Also control input. I mean, this thing really responds nicely regardless of it having ducks or whatever it is. It just responds nicely for a quad. It is still a, ooh, as you can see there, there you go. I pushed it a little bit too hard. I had to pull out of that really quick because it would have run into the tree. But you, that, that's pretty much the limitations. Don't rely on it being able to do these things, but it happens to be able to. Uh, what I wanted to say was, um, oh yeah, so the limitations. Limitations are not only um, breezy places and uh, washout with dives, which is a lot better than any Cinewhoop I've ever flown. But the other limitations are when you're flying through really tight corridors. If you're flying through a like a, a hallway with walls really close to you, then you're gonna get recycling of the of the thrust, and that's gonna cause a little bit of a yaw wiggle, which is kind of annoying if you're trying to fly through like a property or real estate or something. But as long as you stay maintaining a, a steady clip like through the hallway, it's not gonna have any issues. So other things I want to show you are, um, it's not the slowest, but it's definitely very good at flying slowly and it could go slower if it didn't weigh so much. And I'm kind of pushing it really hard and so my flight, there you go, there's some bobbles as well. That's, that's what I wanted to show. I took five flights to get it to do that once. So definitely is not an acro quad and I'm not flying it in the traditional Cinewhoop style. Also listen for the noise. But overall, I hope you can tell from my throttle and the actual video performance that this thing does perform there. Wow, good. I can get it to do it finally.
This thing does perform. Ugh, it was also a half battery. I gotta land now, out of batteries. At the end of the day, this is a grossly overweight quad. It's 545 grams on three inch props. And it's only saving grace is that these motors actually do perform quite amazingly well, significantly better than any 1500 whatever, 160 whatever that is in existence. The 1608 motors are gonna come, but I, I've tested them and this is definitely performing a lot better than those motors and these ducks from Stan FPV. I cannot emphasize how much work Stan has put into designing ducks like this. I know it seems simple. I know it seems dumb, but I genuinely appreciate his work because this is something that just takes guessing and checking, tons of guessing and checking, and it is genuinely part of how this thing flies the way it does. Now, again, the point of this video was to show you where it's not good and it is a Cinewhoop and it's not going to be perfect. It definitely is going to be far from perfect, but it's going to perform probably, I haven't tried every Cinewhoop out there, significantly better than anything on the market that I have tried. It's definitely not the tiniest thing. There are obviously those two inch things out there, but this is a lot more robust. It gives you uh, more capabilities. You can, you can actually carry two GoPros on here without any concern. And it also works fantastic on 3S as well if, you're in even, if you are in an even more delicate environment where you have to be more sensitive on the throttle. That's it. Other thing I wanna let you guys know is that uh, the support that you guys are giving FPV Cycle, I, I cannot, like me and Josh, we're doing this all on our own at this point. We don't have any other help. And we could not be more appreciative of the support and it's the stores heavily in the negative still but all this money of spending that you guys are doing is going into developing new products i'm very excited about showing you uh, a couple of motors and things that we're working on and the, the lots of things and the roadmap is really huge and i just thank you guys so much because investing in new products and new things is very risky in this industry because i should probably be on camera saying this even though my girlfriend gave me a really <laughs> terrible haircut investing in new products and new technology and things is very risky in this industry because there are uh, countless companies that will just mimic and copy and steal and just do whatever we are going to get legal when I mean, we already have legal on board and we are going to be doing more and more of the legal stuff uh, for branding and marketing and everything but I, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support because it's going somewhere it's going somewhere and i'm very excited to show you guys where it's going very soon because the things coming are because of you guys. You're literally the ones that are making it happen. So thank you so much. And also please floss your teeth so that you can save money from the dentist to buy more drone parts. <laughs> Take care. Thanks. Bye.